Good afternoon all. Today, I'm here to present my research paper titled Changing Demographic Profile of Urban Villages in the Vicinity of Planned City Developments. As we all know that India is among the fastest urbanizing nations with the cities increasing both in size and numbers. As cities offer better employment opportunities and living condition uh, with, with better urban infrastructure, people migrate from rural areas to the urban centers, in turn increasing the urban centers both in size as well as numbers. Urban villages, the, in this research paper, the urban villages in the Jaipur development region have been selected to ascertain how the demographic characteristics of the urban villages are affected by the surrounding development. To look into the aspect of changing demographic profile and the, and, and the changing form of urban villages, examples from Southeast Asia and India have been studied during the research. In China, industrialization and city expansions has happened uh, on arable land, engulfing village settlements into cities. And this has forged uh, the jobless farmers to search for new ways of earnings, mainly the land holding in proximity of industrial areas, giving them an opportunity to work in factories while providing rental income by housing industrial workers. An example from Pakistan, wherein uh, the urban villages have been uh, have been have been cordoned off from the from from the developed side by a wall, which seg segregates the newer developments from the urban villages. In India, the policy for urban village uh, was first uh, first drafted for the city of Delhi. The issue of urban village was realized in Delhi and uh, realized in Delhi during the economic survey of Delhi in 2005 and 6, which led to the formation of Tejendra Khanna committee in 2006, which, uh, mainly to demarcate the unauthorized construction and misuse of premises in Delhi. The committee report uh, found a special need of a uh, need found a need of a special committee, which was called a Lal Dora expert committee to look into the aspects of urban villages. The committees the, the Lal Dora committee report uh, reports were then used to formulate the policy and look into the development of urban villages, not just in Delhi, but throughout the country. Some of the cases from, from the urban villages of Delhi uh, have, been, have been selected and studied to look at the transformations that have happened in the urban villages vis-a-vis -vis the surrounding development that has come up, uh, come up around, the, around these villages. Like the village of Mahipalpur in Delhi, which, uh, which has its proximity to the airport, to, to the IJI International Airport, has has seen a growth of housing density and commercial activities like coming out of warehouses, hotels, factory, and retail houses. A lot of study centers inter uh, of, for international institutes have also, also taken advantage of, of its vicinity. The village of Hotchkas, which came in, uh, which, which had development for institutes like NIFT and IIT, commercialized mainly to cater to the needs of the students with food joints and designer outlets which have made a popular which have, which have made it a popular shopping destination kotla mubarakpur which uh, which has which has developed alongside a residential development in many phases the village has transformed uh, to cater to the migrant construction workers uh, wherein the females got jobs in the house as jobs as household helps, and uh, the males taking clerical jobs in offices. Nithari, a village near Noida industrial area, saw a rapid increase 
saw, saw a rapid increase in the population, uh, in, in the migrant working population, which, uh, which, which led to which led to a lot of built form transformation within the village. With no change in the organically laid out village network, village village road network, infusing infrastructure becomes a challenge. With a majority of spaces occupied by rentiers, these village pockets lack infrastructure facility and grow poor living conditions. So uh, taking, this, taking the case of Jaipur, we looked at the demographic transformation, which are which which are coming up due to uh, due to the the, uh, the surrounding development in these urban villages. So we looked at uh, we looked at the location quotient and the comp uh, and and further formulating it into the composite index uh, index for understanding of the of, of of the influence these commercial developments or these these institutional developments are putting in, in, in these urban villages. To look into the same, the, the demographic parameters of population growth rate, literacy uh, ratio, employment status, workforce participation, and household size were then taken for, uh, for, 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 the, for the urban villages in uh, urban villages in the vicinity of planned investments and were then equated to the location quotient of, uh, of for, 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 for Jaipur to find out how, uh, how fast or how much of influence has happened to the demographic, uh, demographic indicators due to the presence of this planned investment. Jaipur city, uh, Jaipur's, Jaipur's regional uh, Jaipur has a total regional area of 2940 square kilometers with total 725 revenue villages, having a total municipal area of 384, uh, with, which include 201 villages uh, dissolved to, to formulate the municipal area, leaving 524 villages as urban villages. These urban villages were then identified for the investment schemes that have been proposed in these villages. The, in the investment is schemes like industrial, uh, commercial, uh, commercial and residential. So, so all the villages that are having industrial, uh, industrial presence have been marked out uh, all, all alongside the, the development region of Jaipur. These villages, the, uh, the, the villages, the, uh, the villages having the investment and their first uh, neighboring village were then identified for uh, identified as, as a cluster to, for, to be taken up for analysis. Now looking at the population growth rate from these from these villages, we clearly see that uh, the villages, in the vicinity of planned industrial development have a higher growth rate as compared to the commercial and the residential ones. When we look at the baseline, uh, ba baseline, uh, baseline projections for the city, we see that residential, that the villages having the residential development have, have progressed as per the average, the average of the city. When we look at the change in the workforce participation, we see that villages which had immediate uh, immediate settle, uh, immediate influence of the industry had a higher workforce participation, while uh, we see no major change in the uh, in, in in the residential and commercial uh, commercial setups. However. When we look at the literacy uh, literacy ratio of these villages, we see that uh, the, we see that there has been no major impact, and this can be attributed uh, to the to, to the overall increasing literacy levels of uh, levels levels of the of the uh, uh, levels in the city. The uh, these the, the data from the census was then compared and. And, and derived to, to, to derive the location quotient of for each village. Now, location quotient 
for each village was then then reduced any village having location quotient between 0 to 0.5 was considered very low uh, from 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 was considered low from 0 0.75 to 1 was average and any any village having more than one was considered to have a strong urban influence uh, influence on the village this was then then uh, uh, these 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 averages for the for for the city were then divided by the value for each village to deduce location quotient the location quotients put together were then uh, were, were then put together to find the composite index the composite index followed the same uh, followed the same criteria for for its values and when we see uh, while we see that the villages under the influence of industrial areas have progressed with a higher change in composite index, indicating a higher rate of urbanization. We do not see such a drastic change in the villages around the commercial and residential development in urban villages of Jaipur. And hence, we can say that after the demographic analysis of the urban village clusters under the influence of planned investment, Industrial proposals act as magnet and highly influence the demographic characteristics in villages. The migrant population starts to demand urban infrastructure, and hence it becomes essential to prioritize urban infrastructure delivery and emphasize urban development in these villages, specifically close, uh, specifically with the ones which are close to planned industrial proposals for sustained growth and development. The references that I have used for the paper, thank you.